Part of the scientific method is to compose a hypothesis. But what exactly is a hypothesis? A hypothesis is a statement or educated guess that explains a phenomenon based on previous knowledge. It sets out to answer your research question. This comes from first observing a phenomenon and then developing a research question. For instance, we can look at this plant. We can also look at this plant and notice a difference. We can then ask ourselves, what will happen to this plant if I do not water it? That is our research question. Our hypothesis will attempt to answer this. It is a statement that can be broken down into three parts, the if, the then, and the because. These three parts attempt to explain what the phenomenon is, what will happen to the phenomenon, and why it happens. The first part is the event part. Structure this by starting it with if. Take into account what your experiment will entail. For instance, if I do not water this plant. Next, consider the consequence of the action. We are taking the independent variable of water and changing it. This will have a consequence on our dependent variable, the plant. Remember that the independent variable is what we change, and the dependent variable will be affected by this change. So for our example, if I do not water this plant, then it will shrivel and die. We can take this a step further and give our best guess as to why this is happening. Remember, our hypothesis is an educated guess. Don't be afraid of proving your hypothesis wrong. If anything, that's even more exciting because you've ruled out one factor and can test for another one. Adding the why part on our hypothesis is as easy as adding a because clause. If I do not water this plant, then it will shrivel and die because water causes the cells of the plant to expand and provide trigger pressure. Be sure to review your hypothesis with the following questions. Is this a sound hypothesis? Does it make sense based on what we've observed? Can we prove it? Does it answer your research question? Does it include your variables? Are they testable? If you answer no to any of those questions, you should go back and review your hypothesis before moving forward.